Golf on Sky Sports, sponsored by the new Chromesoft from Callaway. Hello everyone, lockdown number three is here unfortunately and um, we're all part of it. We're all doing our bit to try and control the virus. Um, we're doing different bits and pieces, so the girls at the moment, we've got homeschooling going on, um, that's been going okay. Google Classroom's a great thing, um, it's something that you know wouldn't have happened, so let's take the positives out of things, that's something new. Another thing that's, that's good is obviously we can talk to you guys, so hopefully with this video content, we can um, give you a bit more information and hopefully improve your golf, which is what it's all about. Now I have tried to do this video already, so I've tried to do it outside, but I've, been, I've brought you back into the office, I'll call it, which is the hallway at home. Um, where I've got like a nice little putting mat down here. Um, I'm having some deliveries for you guys as well. So don't think I've forgotten about you. One of you will know that this is yours. So your trolley should turn up today and I'll be letting you know in due course. However, what I wanted to do was talk to you a little bit about something you can all do at home um, and why you should do it. So those who have had lessons with me in the past will probably know that I like to try and explain things so that when you walk away, you hopefully realize why you're doing it and your purpose for doing it. Now what I want to talk to you about is potentially one of the fundamentals of golf, which I think gets overlooked, which is posture. Okay, so let's have a look at posture and what, what poor posture, particularly, can cause to happen. So if we take our position here, and hopefully I'll far enough back, I'll position the camera up on a stool and a coke tin, and hopefully that's all right, but I'll position it far enough back, and what we'd see here is imagine that if you have too much of your body weight forwards here. So what that means is, is that your shoulders are no longer over the top of your knees and your knees are no longer over the top of your feet. So what that does is it causes an imbalance. So what your arms can do is they will then be tracked to work in and wanting to work around your body. Now this isn't very helpful for a correct rotation. So it's not going to help you to rotate and turn correctly. So when your arms become independent of your body rotation, what can happen is it can cause you, in this position here, to get a bit of a loop and come over the top of it. So, what else could it be? So let's just think of another negative posture, what we often see when we coach. So people hanging back on their heels, and potentially what they'll do is they'll lift the club up. When you lift the club up, you're not very, very unlikely to re-root it round in inside, which is the correct path to try and come in from. You'll end up cutting across it again. So again, it causes that killer shot, that slice that you're after. Well, you're not after, that you're trying to get rid of. Now, what we want to try and do is, I'm trying to get this across to you, is that it's always in your fundamentals. So if we can get you to get your posture in a position where it's improved, then what you're going to do is it's going to enable you to be able to rotate correctly in your golf swing. So, hold it like a tour pro, stand like a tour pro, got half a chance to swing it like one. Okay, so how would I do that? And, what, and I'll give you a few of the guide points. So I start off trying to stand as tall as possibly can, so you can't see my lower half of the, the, in the camera at the moment, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do here is put my feet together, separate my feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to bend forward from the waist. So I'm bending forward from the waist at this point here. I'm very unflexible and I've been doing a bit of Joe Wick. So my hamstrings are a bit tight. Uh, <laughs> Charlie boys, I need to go into your, your fitness thing. So I put, tilt, my tip, pilt, tilt my pelvis back, bending forward from the waist here. And then as I go, and if I had a club in my hand, I'll be tilting forwards. I approximately get a foot from the ground, at that point now I'll lower the club to the ground and I'll gently bend my knees. What I'm trying to achieve is my shoulders are when I'm over the top of my knees and my knees over the top of my feet. Now with the kids, what I try and say to them when we coach them is, I try and relate to other sports, so I'll be saying, you know, think about football, a goalkeeper in football, ready to go in both directions. Now that's the goal swing, that's the back swing and that's the follow through. What we want is you, if you're balanced, you can move in both directions. If you're out of balance, it makes that functional movement very, very difficult. So what I'm saying, guys, is if we can improve that posture, so you can do this at home, put together, shoulder width apart, bottom out, bend it forward from the waist, gently flex your knees, we'll have that posture which we're after. Now, lots of us through life are sat at computers, um, being very manual, so, we, so we're, we're very much geared to not having perfect posture. Well, what can we do about that? Something really simple, and I was told this years ago, now I'm going to use this door frame here, and I'm just going to show you first. What I want you to do is put your arms either side of the door frame, and you can see here how I was taking a step forwards into that frame. Now I'm not going to stand there and ask you to watch it, but what I want you to do is try and do, just try and time yourself. So try and do it 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 30 seconds, and improve. Don't do it to a point where you hurt yourself, 
but just try and do it to where you approve. Because what that will do, that will start to pull your shoulders back. In an ideal world, you'd, you know, you'd almost try and feel like you're holding a pencil between your shoulder blades at the back. I remember Mark Runchman telling me that once when I went to one of his fitness sessions. And Mark's very good, by the way, so you know, I'd always listen to what he has to say and very thorough. Pull your shoulders back. Look at the best golfers in the world. Look at the posture. Look at the grip. Look at the similarities. If you want to play good golf, you've got to start adhering to their basics. Guys, make sure that you and your family stay safe. I hope you enjoy the video. I will be in contact again soon. We've got some other bits and pieces that I'll be announcing via video. Um, but look after yourselves, look after your family. Stay safe and hope to see you soon.